Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am bare face because I'm about to do a makeup tutorial. It's going to be an affordable look and it might be more of an everyday look but I know what I'm like. It can end up being quite heavy and you guys can judge at the end if you think it's an everyday look or not. Um, but I've done affordable makeup tutorials in the past and people are like, Patricia, that's not affordable. And then I've kind of realised, you know what, you're right because I end up mixing a lot of products and sometimes I have struggled to have like the perfect affordable foundation um, and it's hard you know in the UK if you're a woman of colour if you're down there on a spectrum black and Asian or like really pale sometimes it's just like they forget that you exist and all that good stuff but I'm using the new foundations the fresh nude foundations from the body shop you guys know I absolutely love the body shop I've got like two shades that are really really good for me and they also have their new shade adjusting drops as well hello you can make your foundation a little bit lighter or you can make your foundation a little bit darker and I actually like to use the darker color to contour on its own absolutely amazing I've seen lots of girls using there's a brand in the US um, can't remember what it's called but loads of girls were using the drops and I remember when I went to the US I went it, I wanted to buy it and it was like $40 I was like mm, that's expensive just to make my foundation a little bit lighter or a little bit darker but these are really really good they're 10 pounds and everything else should be a affordable and if it's not I'll let you know but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and it's really easy to do and to follow. So for my base colour I'm going to go in with Caribbean Mahogany and what I love about foundations like this is that you can make it work on the different areas of your skin tone. I've got a darker chin area but then around the rest of my face it's a little bit lighter so I'm actually going to add the lighter shade adjusting drop to use on the rest of my face. So just around my cheeks and my forehead a lot lighter than my chin area. So I just blend that in with a buffer brush and actually I added a little bit more of the base foundation and just blended that all in. So moving on to my brows, I'm going to speed it up because I feel like I've done my brows a million times. I've said it a million times before, I love using a gel to do my brows and like a small angle brush and I have brows that aren't that thick so I just neaten them up with concealer which is definitely the way to get those perfect brows. So after that I go in with my normal concealing routine and I usually use my ring finger because it's nice and gentle and I like my concealer to be relatively light so obviously shade adjusting drops would be perfect for this and then I go down the middle of my face to highlight it as well. I go ahead and use my beauty blender to neaten that all up and I like to bring my concealer quite low down my face as well. After blending, I also tap a little bit on my cupid's bow. I'm going to go in actually with the darker shade adjuster and I'm going to mix it with my foundation to create a perfect contour colour. If you guys don't know, I absolutely love using foundation to contour my nose and actually lots of my face. I find it's less powdery and less harsh and easier to blend and you get a much neater line. So I create a little button at the end of my nose and then use my fingers to blend everything in. But I feel like foundations the easiest way to really create a nice contour. So I'm setting my face with my Ben Nye powders. Now these are relatively affordable and you can buy them online but they're definitely not drugstore. I use it to set my like highlighted areas of my face and then I just go ahead and use a brush to just blend it all out. On my lids, I am using an Ico Creamy Eyeshadow Liner, which I really love as a good base. And then above that, I'm using the Maybelline Nudes Palette, which is drugstore. And it's got really nice browns and bronzes, which are just my favourite thing, like, most of the time. I'm using a matte liquid liner from Topshop and to be honest I haven't mastered the wing eye, it actually takes me quite a while to do it but I've just sped it up and then I'm going and using a Maybelline mascara and adding my Ardell cheapy lashes which I love. Now my contour, lots of people have been asking about, is actually Bobbi Brown and Max Fever mixed together because I've not found the perfect kind of shades for me and I love this mix at the moment. On 
on my lips i am using l'oreal and this is a, i think it's called oud it's a really dark plum which i love to use on the outside of my lips and then i leave the inside where i'm adding just a matte beige color which is from stilla So guys that's basically my everyday affordable makeup look so guys that is my finished look i feel like this is realistically the look i've been wearing a lot recently people have been asking me a lot about it but it it's quite natural i mean it's a little bit harsh on the blush but i've been loving really really harsh blush recently um it's really easy to do again hopefully this is really affordable everything is more or less drugstore or affordable the foundations i mentioned are from the body shop they are absolutely amazing as you can see that someone like me can get multiple different tones especially with the shade adjusting drops they make a big difference so i'm going to link everything i use in the description bar below but i'm actually in a rush i need to go and catch a train in like six minutes from now so i will see you guys later thanks for watching guys Bye.